All right, so we've got our first full month of energy usage. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, from billing period um, March 12th, 22 to April 12th, 22. Uh, and it shows my previous uh, meter reading along with my energy usage uh, in kilowatt hours. So 1,823 kilowatt hours uh, were used from March 12th to April 12th. Uh, and here's on the right side, you can see my previous charges. My total bill was $214. Um, you know, March is a pretty mild month here in North Georgia. So uh, then we go on to, uh, this is my um, April 12th to May 12th. Uh, so just a few days ago in this billing cycle, uh, and as you can see, uh, energy usage went down a total of 1,359 kilowatt hours, and the total bill was $166. So that's, uh, what, 34 and 48, right at $50 uh, saved month to month. Um, and on the next slide, I'll kind of show you, uh, you know, $50, pretty nice. Um, but you got to understand too that um, March um, and April weren't that intense for heat. Uh, you can see here we've got uh, average temperature uh, was 67, or uh, the average high temperature. So that's basically, we're just using the air conditioner uh, and charging, you know, computers, a couple small things. Uh, but, but basically the, the bulk of the energy usage that we're looking at right now is the, the air conditioner on the first level of the house. So the max temperature uh, for this location, outdoor temperature, the average was 67.68. Um, and that was for March. So pretty mild. Um, and then we go into April, and you can see we bump up about six degrees uh, to 73.1. Uh, so you got your max high for April was 85, but the low still 32 um, with an average of 73. So uh, like I said, we're calculating this energy usage based off the air conditioning usage. So that's why we're looking at the high, the average high. Then we'll go into, um, this is actually my report from my downstairs thermostat, Wi-Fi Honeywell thermostat. Gives you a uh, readout each month of, of your month to month, what you did this year versus last year. So as you can see, um, cooling is what we're looking at. In March, uh, five hours less cooling. Uh, we didn't run the AC, the downstairs unit at all in March. So uh, there's where that, and in 2021, we only ran it for five hours. So, but then when you come to April, um, we bumped up and you can see in April of 21, as it warms up, we had 24 hours of, of running the downstairs unit. And then this year in April of 22, uh, zero hours. So as you can see, we did not turn that downstairs unit on at all. All we had it on was uh, the circulate to, uh, you know, circulate the air using the, uh, the central fan. Um, and then we'll go back to, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Uh, $50 savings right off the bat in a uh, non-energy intensive month uh we did change out the i don't know if you if you've watched the other video where we did change out a bunch of led uh, a bunch of incandescent bulbs for led bulbs as well so that's going to help with that and i will say this um as we go back to our um, bill here um this was softball season. Softball, we played our uh, 
My daughter played her last softball game last night. So uh, as far as dryer and washing machine and dryer, uh, we've been washing and drying a, a bunch of clothes. So we had a, a pretty intensive uh, month just on that. So I, with all that being said, uh, you know, you never can compare direct apples to apples. But when you're going from, what were we at? 1,823 kilowatt hours to 1,359. So roughly we saved around uh, 500 kilowatt hours in a more energy uh, intense environment. So I'm very happy with that. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, please let me know. Like I said, this is all just running uh, basically the changing the light bulbs and running the, uh, this inverter split unit, uh, to cool the downstairs. We're still running the upstairs AC. Uh, I have it turned off during the day cause we're not upstairs during the day. And then I turn it down to, um, 67 at night. So, um, but the out, outside temperature is, is much cooler by the time we actually uh, turn that on. So uh, as far as, uh, conserving that energy, it absolutely helps out, especially, and I do have it set to a max of 75 upstairs. So it will kick on upstairs if it gets over 75, uh, just to make sure it stays manageable so we can get it cooled down in about 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, so first month, uh, $50 savings already. Uh, super cool. Uh, am, uh, considering, uh, I think I am going to eventually get these on the roof. I think I've decided that, um, so that's hopefully a project we'll get to, uh, sometime in the next month or so. I'm going to add two more panels in parallel to those two in series and get those up on the roof. Um, hopefully this summer, it may not be this month, uh, but hopefully get those up there and that way we can really uh, pump this thing out. Because I did, there were several times just getting getting to know the system, getting to know the panels, getting to know the, the Delta Pro. Um, I have charged it, I don't know, probably half a dozen times over the month uh, from the AC on the wall. Um, most of it is... Uh, running from the solar though so that's still the energy usage that we're putting into that uh, right now how i've got it set up is we're charging at 200 watts um, if it gets low um, depending on like i said if we're here on a on the weekend and gonna be here um, i'd like i like to have it charged up or at least charging um, if we're gonna be here during the day uh, for the most part, uh, but yeah, so super cool. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, get subscribed, uh, like this video, uh, make sure you turn on the bell that way for notifications, uh, plan on doing this next month and all through the summer as well. Um, you know, comparing these, uh, actual energy usages and bills and, and see how low we can get this bill without sacrificing uh, our comforts. Thanks for watching.